Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, nations, denominations, races, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today, bringing you guys and gals, as always, One Piece War material. Now, this week, Oda's pulling the usual bullshit, and we're not getting our weekly chapter fix. We need our fix. We need our crackle cane. And... In this scenario, I am Jesse. I am your supplier. If you want the goods, you come to me. Now, the thing here is that this topic question I got like a year plus ago. I apologize. I apologize a lot to Tony, who is one of my patrons on Patreon.com. In the link below, he is a right true. And this question basically is, why is it that Marines have not shown the capacity or the ability to actually use the Hao Shoko no Haki, the Conqueror's Haki, and it's only pirates. Now, this obviously is a fairly big question because Conqueror's Haki is one of the three staple hockeys. And the fact that no Marine has shown that ability thus far is a big thing. So, before I get into the full details as to why I think the Marines can't and will never be able to actually use that ability in the future of the series. I want to talk about how you actually acquire Conqueror's Hockey in the first place. You know, give my take on that. When it comes to those who actually have Conqueror's Hockey, it is Bo Hancock, it is Luffy, it is Ace, Shanks, Rayleigh, Don Chin Jiao, Flamingo, and Whitebeard. Now, Whitebeard never really showed his Conqueror's Hockey, but it's stated in manga that he can use Conqueror's Hockey. So, and a damn story. And when it comes to actually acquiring Conqueror's Hockey, because we don't know, like, the true details. Because Rayleigh even says, like, you can't train to get it, but once you do get it, you can train it. So how do you get it in the first place? Well, here are my thoughts. Number one... As far as I know, it's not age bias. Because even though guys like Ace and Don Flamingo, they got Conqueror's Hockey when they were kids. Shanks, when he first displayed it, that was at the beginning of the series, and he was much, much older. He was probably like at least two decades older than when Don Flamingo and Ace got, or when they showed their Conqueror's Hockey. Now, that's an assumption, mind you. We're assuming, or at least I'm assuming, that the first time Shanks uses hockey was when he did it on that sea beast that uh, ate off his arm when he saved Luffy. That being said, if that's the actual case, then this means that Sai, he will probably attain Conqueror's hockey in the future. Because Don Chin Zhao, he was the leader of the Hapo Navy, he was the Don, and the Hapo Navy is actually a pirate group faction of the Country of Flowers. And now that Sai has taken over the lead, because someone like Shanks could attain Conqueror's Hockey later on in his life, then the same thing could apply to Sai, who has just reached the pinnacle of Don, who has just reached that level. So I think status is actually a very important thing when it comes to actually attaining Conqueror's Hockey, as well as ambition and goals and dreams, like Luffy, like uh, Ace back in the day, and, you know, Wiper 2 when he was younger. Also, what I think is actually important is lineage. Because we know that Flamingo was born of Tenry Beto bloodline. And that lineage may have an effect on whether or not he can actually attain Conqueror's Hockey. When it comes to Ace, Ace is the son of Goldie Roger. Goldie Roger is the king of the pirates. The de facto king of the pirates. So even though... He's not of royal bloodline and lineage. It's still possible that Ace was able to acquire some degree of worth when it came to attaining Conqueror's Hockey through his father's bloodline. Because his father had reached the top, the very best of the pirate world. And when it comes to Rayleigh, he's kind of interesting because Rayleigh, he's the vice captain of the Roger Pirates, not the captain. Where you have Luffy, he is the captain of the Stride Pirates, Whitebeard, the Whitebeard Pirates. You have Don Flamingo, who is the captain of his pirate crew, as well as being the former king of Dress Rosa. Your boy Hancock, who is the captain of her pirate crew, as well as being an empress of an entire country. You have Don Chin Zhao, again, who is who was the former Don of, of his entire pirate fleet, and so on and so forth. 
But Ray Lee was vice captain. He was under Roger. So how does Ray Lee have Conqueror's Hockey? This may tie into the whole male Dark King Ray Lee. Because that king title may lead to some type of noble bloodline. Some type of noble lineage that Ray Lee has. Now, it could be the whole arm and hockey thing. We're not too sure. But keep that in mind. Where in which Ray Lee, he is an exception kind of because he's not the captain. He's the vice captain. Which meant that he was always under Roger's command. But this does, at the same time, give leeway to other people who are under their captains. But they could still utilize Conqueror's Hockey. Keep in mind that Don Chinjiao did say that when it comes to the new world, there are plenty of people who can use Congress Hockey, and Luffy is going to be butting heads with these people as he tries to attain the One Piece, which is like the ultimate dream for many pirates. And that dream, that goal of reaching the One Piece is probably, again, it's, it ties into the second point, where ambitions and dreams are probably a cornerstone of attaining Congress Hockey. So when it comes to the Marines, the reason why no Marine is going to attain Conqueror's Hockey, in my mind, is because the Marines, by nature, are subordinates. They are a subordinate faction within the total world government. They follow the orders of the Tenubito. They follow the orders of the Gorose. It's very possible that since the Gorose are the top, top of the world government, it's very possible that the Gorose, maybe like let's say one or two members, they may actually have Conqueror's Hockey. It's very possible. When it comes to the Marines, even though you have powerful guys like Fujitora, Kizaru, you did have Aokiji, you have a kindness fleet admiral, you had guys like Rear Admiral Kong, even those powerful guys by nature are still subordinates of the world government. And if ordered to, must put their lives on the line and die for the sake of the world government, for the sake of the Tenubito. So that aspect, as well as the notion of all for one and one for all, therefore preventing a certain degree of individualism to be prominent within the marine system. Unlike a pirate crew, like for example, in Luffy's case, Luffy and his comrades it's not a subordinate relationship. It's a friendship. So it's friends getting together and they have their own goals and dreams. And their journey is the process by which they can actually attain these goals and dreams. And all the while enjoying the journey itself. But when it comes to Marines and World Government, no, no, no. You're my subordinate. You follow my fucking orders. End of damn story. So that prevents a certain degree of ambition, a certain degree of, uh, of uh, dreams to be realized, to be cultivated. Because, no matter what they do, the world government is always above them. Because the Tenubito, they are the descendants of the initial families of the world government. And they have that blood right superiority over the Marines. You see what I'm saying now? So, that being said, that's the reason why no Marine will ever attain Conqueror's Hockey. And now that I think about it. Because Aokiji left the Marines, he's no longer a subordinate of the world government. And because we, we know that he's not actually going to join Blackbeard's crew full on. He has his own goals and, and, and ambitions at this point in time. If there's a chance for Aokiji to actually attain Conqueror's Hockey at this point in time. If, in fact, Conqueror's Hockey is not age bias, Where, like, for example, you don't have to be between the ages of 2 to 20 to actually attain Congress hockey. So that's it. I'm done. So give me your thoughts as always in the comment section down below when it comes to this topic at hand. Did I miss something? Was I on point? Do you think that it works a different way? Let me know in the comment section as always. And by the way, you guys and gals have a mouse right here to rate the video, whether it's a like or dislike. Be sure to use it. And of course, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice goddamn day.